It's such an extreme sport, though. Tell us how you prepare for each climb. Well, I've been, I've been can't climbing. Fathom it. I have been climbing my whole life. Fifty years I've been climbing. I am even featured in the book of the 100 greatest sport people from all time. Mm -hmm. I am having 10 Guinness World of Record certificates. I am having a statue in China. Uh, I, you know, I, I have been awarded by it's the IOC. Here. I saw it. I went there in the Avatar Mountains. Oh, you went there? Yeah. And then you saw my statue? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I, did. I, mean, didn't, I didn't see it because I climbed in 2008, was uh, official. Uh -huh. And then they made a statue in uh, 2018. They put a nice plate and everything. Nice. And uh, they wrote in uh, English and in Chinese. So. But Alan, I mean, there's, it's one thing to climb, to climb high. But you climb buildings without safety equipment. And yeah. that takes another level of... No, that, well, that, that's not exactly uh, right. Really? Uh, because, you know, uh, whether it's on cliffs or on mountains or on buildings, you, you, you can pick, you know, whether you want to do the easy one, the medium one, or the difficult one. I'm 61, so now I'm climbing uh, easy things. Meaning for me, climbing the GT, it's like yeah, a, that's easy. for me, it's, like, it's still like a trekking. The good thing is that uh, mentally, uh, I, am, uh, I am always uh, prepared because mm. this is what I have been doing uh, pretty much my whole life long. You know, you get to know that uh, when I was young, I was afraid of height, I was yeah. afraid of uh, everything, I was afraid uh, of uh, falling, dying, but I had a dream, I wanted to become uh, courageous. So my life has been based on that dream, meaning it shows that actually, if we are having uh, the willpower and the willingness, we can achieve our dreams. It depends on whether you are thinking a dream is just something that I will uh, never reach it, it's unachievable, or I can make my dream uh, coming true. And I decided when I was young, I don't want to waste my life. There is so much to lose mm. in having a boring life. And I decided, <laughs> okay, I'm going to fight against myself, against my fears. Do you ever get nervous when you're up there? No, I'm fine, you know, I'm used to it, you know, mm. and, uh, and, it, and it's cool, you know, because you know, when I was young, I was even thinking that, oh, actually, when you are reaching 60, maybe you are using a stick, okay. you are having a long <laughs> beard, and you are talking uh, to your grandkids. And although now I am having seven grandchildren, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm still not uh, using a stick, and I'm still coming buildings. Mm -hmm.